We, we, we interrupt our program with a special bulletin. Okay, so we did have a freedom of economic choice, and how best you spend your own money, how best to allocate your own resources, government wouldn't threaten to send you to another cage if you didn't pay your taxes, right? So that's how government is immoral, and that this organization called government then knows only one way to solve problems, a single way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus of the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I already share. Okay, I never thought about it like that. Right? <laughs> well, how, I mean, what's the solution then? Uh, abolish government, right? Abolish government. Yes. So, you're, are you an anarchist? Yes. All right, okay. we, can have, we can have rules. We just don't need political rulers. So in the ideal world, what does like, an anarchist believe in? Uh, consent, right? Consent. Uh, the, the essence of anarchy is consent, right? Your relationship with government is coercive, right? Mm -hmm. You never gave consent to their laws, right? Mm -hmm. You never gave consent uh, to being forced to pay for security services, the police, right? Mm -hmm. Indiscriminate, it's hurt everybody, mm -hmm. right? We can have real security, right? Mm -hmm. With real respect for body ownership or real respect for your private property, right? That's our house, that's our land, that's our body, that's that's just your money, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. So in anarchy, there'd be real respect for that. Real respect, finally, for private ownership of, a, of what you have and of your, of your body, right? So that's, that's anarchy. What happens outside of that doesn't matter as long as it's consensual. Finally, now you can have an apartment complex that's 420 friendly, one, ac one across the street that's not, right? It's like you have rules in your own room or your okay, own so house. So you have rules based on like, so money makes the rules pretty much. Uh, so what if you I own an apartment complex yeah. and I say, okay, you can smoke weed here. Yeah. And I could own another apartment complex, but you can't smoke weed here. Sure. So if you have the money, you make the rules. I agree with that. Yeah, I mean, but there'll be a lot of different forms of money, though, right? Yeah. There won't be one government money, right? That continues to be, like, becomes more worthless and worthless as it goes on, right? Now anyone can compete in the market, right? So all that government is is a monopoly on the services you and I want and which we don't have the economic freedom to cancel and subscribe nor compete entrepreneurially to say, you know what, I can provide you a better service of security that's not going to be abusive or harmful to you, mm -hmm. the consumer, right? It's like judges, when you go into a courthouse, I could provide you a better form of arbitration in which I would stand up when you enter courtroom because you're paying my salary, right? Not the other way around when the judge wants you to kiss the ring or bend the knee, right? Yeah. And if you don't like what I have to say, if you don't do any of that, if you don't bow down, I'll you know, have a nice uh, night in a cage, right? Yeah. Contempt of court, they'll tell you, right? Yeah. So that's an anarchy, you'd never have that, right? If you try to run a business like that, it's like, you, you'll never get off the ground, right? <laughs> you'll never get any customers. Like, what, what do you want me to do? Oh no, <laughs> get the hell out of here, right? <laughs> the safer <for> fools, <laughs> right? So, that's, so that would be the difference. Uh, in anarchy, uh, you, you have real freedom now, right? You don't have to beg or ask permission to do what you want to do with your own property, right? To do what you want to do with your own body, right? It's nobody's business. No one has any authority over your life uh, more than you, right? So that's what it would be. We can still have rules, but rules you give explicit consent to, right? So if you find anything uh, about government that is, ticks you off or uh, got in the way of you or your uh, friends or anything like that. I mean, besides the, the police. Right? <laughs> that's a big one. <laughs> that's a big one. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a huge problem. Right? But, I mean, besides that, I've, I'm pretty good content with the government. Right? Besides one of the biggest problems. Yeah, it is, yeah. right? You don't pull you over. think about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, millions of people suffer in cages for victimless crimes, mm -hmm. right? Uh, what, what, for, for, for a plant, for example? Yeah. It's like, who's the victim here, right? Yeah. That is something you could do, right? You know, what, what's some of the solutions? Like, you ever had jury duty? No, but I have courts. You have, you have courts soon? Uh, all right, I mean, this is some information you can share with your friends, right? Mm -hmm. Some people are selected for jury duty. You don't really have a choice. It's not a service, because they say if you don't show up, you know, you'll be held in contempt of court and you'll be thrown into another case, right? So they're pretty much threatened that you'll be kidnapped if you don't show up, right? But you do have an opportunity as a juror, if you go in there, uh, to say not guilty. Even if there, there's evidence against you. Even the government says, well, here's, the, here's all the facts and information. It's clearly against the law. And the judge will say, well, you have to judge based on what's presented to you. You don't have to as a juror. You can say, you know what? Who's the the victim? No victim, no crime, not guilty, right? This is how they help end prohibition. Right? When people were coming into court for uh, alcohol offenses, the mm -hmm. jurors like, are you serious, alcohol? And that's how they help end the alcohol prohibition, right? Um, during the Fugitive Slave Act, some people were caught like helping uh, slaves and harboring them, right? They, they were caught by the government, they went to court, and the jury said, yeah, not guilty, right? So this is something that the government will never tell you that you can do, right? Once the jury says not guilty, the judge cannot overturn it. It's final, that's it, right? You can't try them again, that's double jeopardy, yeah. right? I mean, that's something maybe we as a community council put forward and nullify 
government altogether and all the, uh, the evil that it does, right? Mm -hmm. We could send you home to your family instead of you know, spending, you know, rotting in a cage. Right. All right, so what's the, what's the conclusion? Like, what's your, what's your purpose? I see you have cards over there. Yeah, uh, so the purpose is to create a, a real community uh, here in Richmond, uh, outside of government, right? Uh, fuck government, fuck politics, fuck politicians, right? And, you know, they've never helped anybody. Uh, and, and create our own community here that helps one another, right? That's a peaceful society that respects each other's uh, way of life, right? That yeah. respects your, 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 your ownership, right? Your, your, your property, right? And then ostracize government altogether. It may take 20 years, it'll take some time, but eventually we can kind of outgrow government, eventually make it irrelevant. You like that? Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not, I, never, I never looked at it like that, but yeah. Yeah? All right, let me give you some, uh, some info then, man. Fuck the government. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Cal. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely. Yeah, so we do like uh, Liberate events. RBA, okay. Liberate RBA. Liberate us from tyranny, right? I feel it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, man. <laughs> Take it easy, buddy.